Hello guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I do my makeup, my everyday look. Um, and we're going to go ahead and start off by adding a moisturizer. So this is the one that I use. And it says anti-wrinkle cream. So we definitely don't want any wrinkles, right? So I just go ahead and add this on here. and add our primer this is one that I absolutely use every single day and it's really hard to find in stock I believe like everyone buys it I'm trying to clean it off because it's a bit dirty but this is what it looks like My brother's girlfriend, she she gave me this. I love them because it keeps your hair from getting in your face, you know? I don't know you can see, but I like my hide my face. So after we do that, I usually honestly trade it off. I go and put on my foundation or sometimes I just do my eyebrows. But today I feel like I'm going to go ahead and um, do my foundation. And the one that I've been using... I've been loving it. It's the Cavon D Locket Foundation. I have two shades. So I have medium 54 and medium 53. The medium 53 is a little bit more tan, and this one's more my color. But I feel like I'm I'm tan right now. Just because I got burnt by the sun. So I'm gonna be using this one today, and sometimes I mix them. So it just depends. I'm going to be adding my foundation with this Real Techniques um, sponge. It is a damp beauty, uh, not beauty blender, a damp sponge. So I'm going to add a few pumps on this. I know I feel like it just leaves a really nice finish. You just dab it. And this foundation is full coverage. It's like one of the things that I love about it. This, so you can purchase it at Sephora. Before you purchase it, I recommend to ask for a sample. That way you get to test it out before you actually buy the whole bottle. Because you never know, it just depends on your skin if it's going to work for you. So get a sample and then if you love it and it works well with your skin, then you know that you're going to get a good use out of it. Okay. Okay, so once I have added that, I go ahead and just clean the foundation off my lips. I... I've noticed that they tend to get all dry if I leave it on. And add just a chapstick. This is Soft Lips Vanilla. That way they're nice and moisturized before you add your lipstick or lip gloss, or whatever you plan on adding. So basically what I use to remove the makeup from my eyebrow brushes is this right here. You can find this at any drugstore. I buy mine from Walmart. So it's oil free eye makeup remover. So I use two types of uh, eyebrow brushes. So I dip them in there and then you can just grab like a paper towel. And what you want to do is just remove most of the liquid. You don't want to remove everything because what's left on these brushes is going to help keep the pomade from drying. You don't want to go straight to the pomade because then this will get really, really um, liquidy and that's not what you want. <laughs> so one of the brushes that I use is this angle brush from um, Royal and Lignico. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. But this one's a BX115. I'm going to add everything in the description box, but this brush... 
I fell in love with it the first time that I used it. The second one that I use is this one from Anastasia. Um, this one's in the number... What the? Everything came off of it. But I'll figure out which one it is and then I'll put it in the description box. So this one right here took me a while to get used to it. Um, just because it has a really fine um, tip. And this one's not as fine. So this one right here I use when I'm not in a hurry just because you do have to be careful and take more time. This one, um, it's a little bit more fluffy so you can just go over your eyebrow and it gets the job done. So today I'm going to be mixing both of them. That way you can see um, the techniques that I use for each one. Go ahead and use this brush to just brush the eyebrow. You always want to brush the eyebrow up. So once I do that, I then go ahead and just draw a line underneath it. So after I add the pomade, I clean it on the towel as well, just slightly. And then I go ahead and uh, draw the line underneath it. So you want to do right now is just clean it up. real techniques of a sponge you're gonna go in and just um you're gonna go ahead and just uh uh mm, let me do it. distribute the product all over the lid and this also helps as a primer for the for the lid before adding the eyeshadow with a concealer brush from morphe I will go in and then really carefully just clean up the rest of the product that's really close to the eyebrow by bringing it down. Then I continue by finishing the eyebrow. By finishing the eyebrow. So this is the difference. When I don't have a lot of time, let's say for work, I just go with this brush because like I said it's much faster um, I just take the pomade and basically go over the eyebrow but if I want a more defined eyebrow I will take the Anastasia um, brush and then take my time so then I can do it a little bit more intense you can say my eyebrow is not that thick so I just create my own shape you can say and I always started off over here at the end. I got the arch. And then I bring it down. Then you can clean it up with your with your hand. It's not a big deal. So then slightly you want to go in towards the, the middle. Just light pressure. Oh, I don't know what happened. My camera just shut off. So let me see where I was at. My mom's calling me. Bueno? 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 Something that's gonna go ahead and keep them in place, keep the hairs in place. This is from Elle. And then I believe one side's for the eyelashes and another side's for the eyebrows, but anyway, so I just use whatever side. I don't know why, but in camera, they always come out a little funny, but that's what you want to do. Just brush them up. <sighs> I don't know if it's because I get nervous. I don't know. Okay, let's see. Okay, so now we're just going to move on to conceal and contour. So I'm going to be using the same Maybelline concealer and just highlight underneath the eyes. Then on the bridge of the nose. 
and the forehead. We're gonna again take the sponge. And then you can take this into the inner corner. I do. Then what I do is I turn the sponge and then do the rest of the thing. Add a transparent powder. This is by Rimmel London as well with the little sponge or whatever you call it, I don't know. And just add it everywhere where you added concealer. So this is what I use to contour lately. It's my Pro Fusion Contour Kit. I bought this at Ross. And this is what it looks like. Side. Okay, I'm gonna be using this one to highlight and these two. No, yeah, these two to contour. Hot mess, hot mess. Okay, and the brush that I'm gonna be using is also from Royal and Lemnickel. Lemnickel? I don't know. So, again, like I said, I'm gonna be mixing these two right here, and then you just wanna tap it somewhere. I always tap it on my mirror. I don't know why. I always go like that. And then sometimes in the middle. Okay. Using the same product, I'm going to grab a smaller contour brush. So I'm going to be using this for the nose, and then again using the same products. After we contour the nose, you want to take again the sponge. All right, then we're gonna move on to highlighting. And then again, like I said, I'm gonna be using this one over here. And then just go over my nose like this. And then we're gonna be doing the highlight. Oh wait, no, before that, before that, we have to finish bronzing. So I'm gonna be using this brush right here with the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. In my other video, I believe I used a bigger brush, but I don't know where it's at. I always lose everything. Okay, so now that we are bronzy, we're gonna add the highlight. So we're finishing up the face, okay? And then we'll finish the eyes. So now we're gonna add the blush using this palette from BH Cosmetics. And I always mix three of them. I always mix this, these three right here in the corner. Okay, so we're just gonna take a little bit and then just clean it off right there. Um, this one's the 35-0 Shimmer. Like, they're just so beautiful, look. So beautiful, right? Okay, um, oh, okay, for my inner corner, I usually just use my index finger. I feel like the product applies a lot better than using a brush, so I just go into my inner corner. The one that I'm using is the third one from this side over. So this one right here. Now I'm gonna take a different palette from Morphe as well. This one's the 35W. 
and it looks like this. So I'm gonna be using the one that I always use, uh, this one right over here. So this is almost the same color as the blush, so it looks very neutral. And then now I'm gonna mix them together and add it at the bottom. What I've been using is this one. Uh, it says Spider Effect by Maybelline. And all the other mascaras that I use are all from Maybelline. The ones that I used in the past are from L'Oreal, which I love. Um, but you can never go wrong with Maybelline. And then this eyelash curler is from Maybelline as well. Okay, but before we add the mascara, we're going to add some eyeliner. This eyeliner is a co-eyeliner by e.l.f. And I'm going to be grabbing this little sponge that I used to add the translucent powder, just so I won't touch the makeup and have it come off. Now we can add the mascara. So I'm going to take this Q-tip and just clean it off. Done putting mascara. I'm going to then go ahead and add my lipstick. So I know that a lot of you wanted to know what lipstick I was wearing in my last tutorial. But I'm so sorry, like I can't find it. I'm telling you, I lose everything every single time. But this is so similar to that one. And this one's actually from Wet n Wild, 902C. And it's only like less than $2. This is what I literally wear every single day to work. So then, where'd it go? I already lost the lipstick. Oh, it's over here. So you guys, this completes the look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and if you would want more talk through videos. This is my first one, so please don't judge me. I will get better as I go. But yeah, it was really fun making this tutorial. Comment below what you want to see and in the description box make sure to check it out because I will list all the products in case I missed any. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the love. I will see you in the next one.